Hello everyone, welcome back to you all to the Commerce Positivity Lectures once again. In today's lecture, we will be totally discussing about the meaning, concept and the natures of planning. So let's start with the meaning or concept of planning without delay. So, planning. Well, planning is the primary functions of management. It is deciding totally in advance what is to be done and how, where, when and by whom it is to be done. It is thinking before doing any job. It involves setting work procedures, objective to achieve them. Planning is the basis of other management function as it is totally concerned with the determinations of goal and the course of actions to be followed in order to achieve those objectives. It is a mental exercise which requires the use of intelligence, imaginations, visions and judgment. Planning is considered to be a continuous process as well as intellectual process. Different scholars have given the definitions of planning in different sense. According to Henry Fayol, planning is deciding the best alternative among others to perform different managerial operations in order to achieve predetermined goal. Similarly, Ricky Zirafin says that planning is setting an organizational goal and deciding how best to achieve them. So simply we can say that planning may be defined as a roadmap of future course of action which involves deciding in advance the goal to be achieved. Now, let's study about the characteristic of planning or the natures of planning. This will make us more clear about the concept of planning. So, the first functions or characteristic of a planning is that it's a primary functions of management. Yes, planning is the primary functions of management. It shows all other management functions like organizing, staffing, directing, controlling, etc. Planning is the basis to this other managerial functions because they are performed within the framework of planning. Similarly, another characteristic of a planning here we have is that future-oriented activity. Yes, planning essentially involves looking ahead and preparing for the future. It is based on forecasting the future. In planning, manager anticipate the future through forecasting and draw plan on the basis of predicted event. So it is a future oriented activity. Focus on objective is another important nature of planning. Planning is the determinations of objective and the course of actions to accomplish this objective. It is always guided by objective. Well, planning cannot be separated away from the objective. Managers involved in planning always care about objective and lay emphasis on the achievement of those objectives. Similarly, another important nature of planning here we have is pervasive functions. Yes, of course. Planning is a pervasive activity or function. It is required in all type of the organizations and at the all level of the management. However, the natures and the scope of planning may differ at various level of the management. Top level management concentrate on strategy planning whereas middle level and lower level management prepare tactical and operational planning respectively. Similarly, selective process is another important nature of planning. Planning is also the selections of a best course of actions from many alternative. One of the problem has a number of alternative solutions. A planning is concerned with the selections of best course of actions among those alternative. Continuous process is another important nature of planning. 
plants are prepared for a specific period of a time. At the end of that period, a new plant is prepared on the basis of future conditions and the new requirement. Thus, planning is ongoing or never-ending activities. Similarly, another important nature of planning here we have is flexibility. Yes, of course, plan is done for the future, whereas future is always uncertain. A lot of opportunity and trades may emerge in the environment. The assumption on which plan are based may or may not be true. Planning should be flexible so that modifications can be easily made in the plan. Similarly, another important characteristic of a planning here we have is that intellectual process or intelligent process. Planning is thinking rather than doing. It is a mental activity which involves imaginations, intelligence and sound judgment. A manager has to exercise his brain and need to be a very creative in order to involve in planning process. So planning is regarded as intelligent process. Yeah, that's said. I just hope you all understand the meaning and the characteristic of a planning. In the next lecture, we will be studying about the importance and the type of a planning. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a good day. Take care.